All right, welcome. My name is Jeremy Allens. I'm the co-founder of Lee Quizzes. I'm really excited to introduce you to a uh, friend of mine, Phil, today. Um, Phil's been rocking in the e-commerce space. He's generated over 75,000 leads using Lee Quizzes. Um, amazing. He has a 3% conversion on his sales, which is meaning um, he's, he's breaking even right on the front and then making money after that. So he's basically getting all these 75,000 leads for free. We're going to walk through, show you how to exactly how to do that. Uh, real quick, what Phil does, um, he has a company called Gothwriter. So um, he calls it badass uh, jewelry and apparel, um, a lot of like motorcycle themed stuff. And so uh, we're going to walk through it. I'm really excited. Thanks for joining today, Phil. Hey, thank you very much, Jeremy. Uh, it's a pleasure to be there uh, today with you. Um, one of the things that's really cool is like when you started doing this, uh, you've been doing it for quite a while. Uh, I think you're getting leads around like 17 cents or something like that, but you've actually dropped it down to four cents. So you've done an amazing job with Facebook ads. And so I want to jump in, like, uh, let's share your screen and, and kind of walk through like the ad and, and what you're doing that you're getting such good results. Yeah, absolutely. So let me share my screen now. This is my page. This is my website, gothrider.com. So you see my niche where what I'm selling and the, and the bunch of stuff here uh, that I'm selling and I'm aiming to. So, I mean, basically um, the idea is to, um, is to build a warm audience. And from that, since the cost I've raised a lot, like the past year on Facebook, I was looking to find a way, a more uh, a cheap way uh, to get this audience prior uh, targeting them uh, as cold traffic. So um, I've built um, multiple pages on Facebook related to my niche. Uh, I've been engaging them a lot. And uh, we've changed a bunch of stuff. Like Jeremy was saying, like early when we started back, I think in April together, um, I was the first campaign we were running was about 17 cents the lead, which was not not bad at all. It was really um, I was feeling great about that. Uh, we were doing um, a follow up sequence on emails. Uh, we were again breaking even uh, right on the first offer that we were uh, giving. It was a free plus shipping offer that we were. Uh, giving at the time something that was very um, easy, engaging for people. So they, they just click on the offer and then after that the sales page was doing the rest. And <clears throat> we, we've been on and off, um, always starting and testing a different type of stuff, testing images, testing um, headlines and all this kind of stuff until we, we found something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you. First of all, it's a video. So we found out that video were, were super, super engaging uh, and getting us uh, faster and much more lead at a cheaper cost. And the reason why is like Facebook really loves video and will prioritize the, the, the video in the news feed against anything else. And especially when you have um, something that is engaging and also if you have something that is not um, – it is not something that you sell right up front. So it's a game, it's fun. People will have something that uh, they can discover on. So I really, I really think and believe that by doing that, uh, it has really changed the way that um, I get my audience for right now and I'm warm it up. So um, I'm running a page uh, <clears throat> called I'm a Biker. So we have about like 150,000 uh, people following us. Um, we engage them through different type of stuff, uh, offers, memes, products, um, videos, a bunch of different stuff that we post. Uh, mainly the, uh, lately, I mean, I w we have posted more products uh, just to see the difference between the engagement and uh, when we post regularly other stuff, you know. And um, we, we, because we're so engaged in this, uh, in this community and we are so engaged with this page, um, one, this is one thing also that we've tested compared to the other things. So before we were using our brand page to promote our quiz and now we decided to use a, a page that was more community aimed to promote the quiz. And this is where we've seen a huge, huge, huge cha change in terms of, um, of engagement. So that's, that's really what you're saying. So switching from like your goth rider page to this, uh, I'm a biker page. Exactly, exactly. So that was the first step where we've seen a, a, a first big drop in the, in the cost per, per lead. Um, what do you think that was, Phil? 
because the page was super engaging at first. So we've seen that people that are um, into community page engage much more than into brand page. Um, the reason why is they don't feel that, um, because most of the time a brand page feels that you're always sold to a brand. When you're into a community page, it can be a bunch of other stuff. You know that you're not tied to, you're not, you, you don't feel that you, you will really get sold at a certain point. You know, it's really a page where it's fun, uh, when you where you share easily with your friends that you're not uh, that you don't think that you will be at, at some point sold on something you know but it is not the case we know that the true behind you know mm -hmm. so um, this is one of my strategy that I, I use and I share a lot is I build a lot of pages uh, in different type of communities where I, I engage them a lot first uh, and then after that in the back end I will uh, sell them something you know um, <coughs> so. So this is the this is the quiz. So now I'm going to show you, you know, the, the ad that has been working a lot. It's very simple. It's tied to my audience. So I'm going to resume the video. <laughs> so a very a very hard uh, rock music <laughs> behind it. Very simple video. So it's a 15 minutes video that we've used, and the reason why we've done uh, sorry 50 seconds video uh, <laughs> we're using 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 seconds is like Facebook um, this is a 20 second sorry uh, we have a 15 seconds uh, uh, version of this uh, of this one and the reason why is uh, because we're getting ready for in streams videos also that Facebook uh, rolled out uh, a couple of months ago so um, so we have like this version so this version right now is a video uh, view um, ad so we are uh, using only the video view ads there so we don't use WC ads uh, website conversions or anything like that we just promote the video and we feel that was this was the che cheapest way to to get uh, our audience at also so we could have tested I mean we have tested a bunch of different type of ads uh, during like since April and really this ad has been the one and this type of ad has been the one uh, That has performed the best so um, soon as uh, you get on this then after that um, Very you're cool. gonna... So real, real quick Phil. I'm guessing yeah. that's just like a stock video like so basically you can just grab those anywhere, right? Yeah, exactly exactly. So you get a stock video. I mean you can get stock video on um, Adobe, uh, Adobe stock, you can get that. Uh, I think on Shutter, uh, Shutter stock fo uh, videos, photos. Sure. I mean, th there's stock videos everywhere. Um, they cost you a, a couple of bucks. You can do uh, some sort of mix there, and you you don't need something that is is very long, 20 seconds, 50 seconds, 30 seconds max, just to grab the attention of the people. Um, music is good, uh, but a lot of people around the video we talk music. So, but since this one, this one what had a lot of action, um, it was easy to co to come in. Uh, we're testing uh, other type of videos also that we're getting great results that are more um, let's see memes video I would say, uh, which are slides with um, with stuff you know copywriting stuff that are are going through, and these one also are getting a, a lot of engagement. Yeah. So. Um, so this one, I mean, just, I mean, after multiple tests, this one just fits out to be uh, the best one for us right now. And I mean, we're getting four, four, four to 4.5 cents per lead using that exact type of stuff right now. So there's always place for improvement. The best would be to get a one cents per lead. So, <laughs> so we will be working on that as well, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Well, yeah, I just wanted to stop real quick there because I think like, you know, like people might think with these videos, you have to do something really high production or spend a lot of money on it. But like you said, you can just grab a stock photo. I think you look for something that was engaging. Like if people do click on the video, there's like sound that kind of catches their attention. So. Yes, exactly. And a lot of our videos, even for our products, are really slides, photos. So we, we just uh, try to get the best pictures uh, of what we, we can get of a product. And then we just put it on slides with small effects here and there. Uh, very easy to use with uh, Final Cut Pro or even iMovie, you can do that. And then um, we post it on Facebook and that's, that's how you know. You don't need eye production. Uh, because basically what you, you want is to get ranking, you know, so getting ranking, it's much more easier with videos and getting uh, higher engagement and faster engagement also, it's, it's easier also with video. Cool. And you did something here, like you did really short copy. Like if, if people look at it, you know, it's very simple. Like that's what we found with a lot of quizzes is just like, 
simple copy, especially if you go with a fun quiz like you did, like which famous biker are you? Just keeping it really, really simple. Yeah, and I think also one of the key there is the type of quiz that we we choose to do, you know, because um, pe people love to play, people love to um, to get associated with some famous people. Also, we see that all the time, you know, when you scroll and you have like a friend that just uh, participated to a quiz that was uh, about, you know, who are you lo looking like to, or, you know, things like that. Yeah. So they're always like fun quiz and people love and enjoy that because they're first of all on Facebook to have fun, to talk with their friend, enjoy. They're not really there to get sold on something, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's much more about engaging their, the, these people where after that you will be able to, to, to sell them in, in the back end, you know? For so sure. um, this is probably, um, this is a good angle and to have also to build a, a warm audience also, you know? Awesome. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> next, if we jump now on the quiz, so I will show you like very fast what we've done. And by the way, this has been um, this has been supervised by uh, by lead quizzes. So uh, I didn't do anything. I just gave my uh, the guidelines to uh, the peeps at, at uh, lead quizzes, and they built everything. So I mean, that was the best because I so don't have much time and to pick up. So I gave like the the guidelines. And they made everything. I just went after that and, and see if it, if it was fitting and it was just uh, perfect. So, I mean, uh, really enjoying like that, um, that, uh, how, how can I say that? Uh, like quiz setup. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, all included setup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here you go. So let's click on that. So we're going to get on the quiz now. So here we are. So, I mean, basically, this is a basic uh, landing page and people are just getting into that on their phone. It's looking great. We start, then we choose, you know, what, I mean, all this question, we choose, you know, whatever we want there. And the great thing is this, um, this quiz has eight steps. So people are taking the time to fill this eight steps. Mm -hmm. And this but is... You, but yeah, yeah like as, as people can see though, the questions and the answers are pretty simple. Like you can get through this like pretty quickly in a couple minutes and that's a huge piece of advice I'd recommend. Exactly. And I really like more step you have, better it is because I mean, if there's drop off uh, just before, I mean, it's really people that just don't care and you don't want these people, you know, in. So more step, I always say more step, it's better. But at a certain point you need to test because you don't want also too much drop off, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then after that, I mean, you put your name, let's say, uh, Peter Sanders. <laughs> I don't know who is this guy, but anyway, All right, let's stop, let's stop here real quick, Phil. So yeah, like simple, simple copy, opt in below to see results and get a chance to win a a hundred dollar goth rider gift card. So you do throw an incentive in there. Um, and then you talked about like, we have a, you have a 30% conversion rate on this. So, uh, out of everybody that hits the quiz, 30% will opt in at this point. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so once there, uh, 30% gets in and this is across the board. We add like 50% on certain, uh, certain quiz, but I mean, most it's, it's really, uh, average 30% there. Uh, and, um, yeah, they fill the information and this is one thing also we tested. So, um, we talked about that, uh, lately, but we tested the Facebook login. We tested also getting, um, the subscription before, and we found out that for us, for this quiz, it was best performing when we had uh, at the end of the, just before the result at the end there, uh, the opt-in. Cool, okay. So now show the result. So right now what you're getting here, it's an offer uh, to get this uh, beautiful belt with the knife in, okay? And I'm gonna explain something about that. And then after that, you have here your, your results, okay? So uh, if you click there, I mean, uh, normally you will be sent to another offer on, the, um, on my page. Uh, and you have like all this uh, beautiful thing that is right in there that fits uh, and explain why they, uh, they're tied to uh, Charlie Human as uh, Jack Sarah from Son of Anarchy. So now one thing that I love about quizzes, okay? <laughs> and, and getting that up front. Normally, I have another type of offer, but I, we're testing this one right now. Like if I was saying, we have a, a free plus shipping offer normally. So uh, this one is very interesting because normally you cannot promote directly guns, uh, cigarettes, 
anything that is forbidden by Facebook normally, okay? But by doing quizzes and bringing them to an offer like that, it is something that you're able to do now because it, it, it's a bridge between something that normally you won't be able to do, but because of that, I mean, uh, Facebook won't check the end offer there and you're able to promote a product that you would not be able to do. And I think this is a perfect example. I, I didn't talk about that, but I think this is a perfect example on how deep you can go with, uh, with a quiz uh, prior an offer that is in the, let's say gray zone, let's say. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> but the great thing also in this offer, uh, that we, that I, I, we really wanted to test because normally we run a free plus shipping offer mm -hmm. that is converting at 3%. It's not a wall for free plus shipping. So we're testing, you know, what's the best deal or what's the best offer right now. Uh, but basically, uh, the great thing is this is much more uh, as um, a, no a normal, let's say, um, pricing offer. I think this is twenty four ninety five. We're gonna check anyway. So right here, we're gonna click I want. So it's gonna bring us to a sales page. Uh, very simple landing sales page here, where we have uh, the image, uh, description, uh, timer, everything that you need to uh, with scarcity. What you need to get people in. And once you you get that, um, you click yeah, here. So let's let's talk let's talk here yeah, real quick yeah, some of this yeah, sure. really good stuff. So you have scarcity, like very limited stock. Get yours for seventy five percent off. So yeah. it's a compelling offer. Yeah. Uh, normally it looks like sixty nine ninety five. Um, you have this bar like almost sold out. You have some social proof on here of like the stars, uh, the different badges on here of secure ordering, hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed. Yeah. Um, and then a little bit more about it. Uh, but yeah, really good thing here. It's a great picture, like showing like what they're actually going to get um, and some basic description. So exactly. Uh, that's good. Exactly. And we can add more. I mean, this is really the first version because we have been testing that for the past, uh, the past couple of days. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, I mean, so this is super, super simple and we're going to test multiple offers to see which one is going to get better. And I mean, that's the goal. And the great thing also that you can do, uh, with lead quiz, if you want to get much more, let's say deeper, is each outcome or each um, each result can be tied to a different offer as well. So your answer can be tied. So let's say Jack Taylor, I would uh, I could have sells a, a figure of Jack Taylor or a T-shirt or, or something. Taylor, you know, you can have something that is tied to that, which is great because you have something much more personalized. So you can, you can imagine going through. Um, going through a, a, a quiz funnel that is really tied to someone's needs, you know, that is based on their behaviors and all this kind of stuff. So it can be super, super powerful. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and then what's going to happen? I mean, it's super simple for us. Let's say we say yes, and it's going directly into our, uh, our sales page right here. So, um, here we, here we go. It's super simple. I mean, you get on the transaction, you get again, other reserve. All right. So after someone enters in their credit card information, they're taken to this page to be upsold. So two additional uh, products for a really great price. Um, so you could be saying yes or no. Again, here's another product that they could buy. If I said yes, then you could sell them additional products. So like this is an example, add three additional to your order and save big. Um, all of these different items are ultimately going to drive up the average uh, order size and make the campaign a lot more profitable. And then finally, they're taken to a confirmation page where it tells them what they're getting and, and what to expect. As soon as we gather the email from the quiz, we send them an email telling them, you know what, thank you very much. This is your outcome from the quiz. And uh, you can get this uh, offer for a very limited time. And we have like two sequences of email there. And uh, yeah, I mean, so, there's so much possibilities just to warm up the leads, just to nurture them uh, up front. And once you, you get the best of the cream of the crop, I mean, after that, it's going to be just easier to uh, sell them other stuff. Yeah. And so the offer you were running before, you said you were having like success with this. Well, uh, was that free plus shipping and you were selling one of those like survival keys? Like it was like, what, like a bottle cap, screwdriver, that kind of thing that was like themed. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So we, we, we were, um, it's like I was saying, I mean, this was a 3% conversion rate. Uh, 
And I mean, it, it we were paying, I mean, the, the whole campaign was paid. So, I mean, it didn't cost us any anything to run. Basically, it was, even if it was four cents a lead, I mean, for us, it was totally free at the end, you know? Mm -hmm. So it didn't cost anything just to build audience, uh, get warm audience, uh, get new emails, and probably new customers uh, at the end also uh, by doing that. Awesome. So let's take a look at the sales page for the free plus shipping offer. So after they like uh, click the button to take them to the offer, this is what they would land on for the free plus shipping offer. A lot of great things on this page. It really builds up the value of how much it's worth. Um, even though it's free, uh, there's like security badges on here. There's social proof and reviews. There's a money back guarantee, secure ordering. Um, at the top of the page, there's also limited quantity, a countdown timer. So some really great things here. So once they click that button, they're taken again to the order page where they put in their credit card information. You know, it says your order is reserved for a limited amount of time. It creates urgency to try and get them to buy. And a great picture up at the top, just describing the image and some more social proof. So once they put that in, they're taken again into an upsell sequence. For here, you know, if they buy one, why not try to offer them more for a really great price? Uh, they can choose to click on this or not. If they say yes, they get taken in an upsell sequence. If no, they get taken into a downsell sequence. So we'll say no, offer them a different type of product that they can buy. So you're maybe cross-selling them on different stuff. Ultimately, again, trying to drive up the average order so that this campaign is more profitable and you're able to sell fun like the leads that you're generating like Gothrider did. So finally, just a confirmation page, remind them what they got. Why, why did you wanna to choose to like switch testing this other one, uh, just more profitable? Yes, exactly. I mean, the goal now is to, uh, so we know, I mean, th that we can go probably higher than 3% because normally when we send a free plus shipping offer straight off out of a, a, a quiz, normally we get about 7%, 7 to 8% easily conversion rate. So the goal here is to get almost the same kind of stuff so we can be profitable also on the front end, not only breaking even. So we will make much more money at a certain point, you know, and it's going to be also easier to scale because the metrics uh, will be uh, some sort of fix there. So we'll know that, okay, we just put, let's say more money there. We know that we're going to make this much money at the end, you know, uh, then instead of playing by uh, just having something that is, it's free, it's cool that it's free, but after that it's much more uh, efforts in the background to convert it more again and again after, you know, so that's the goal here. But, um, but we're pretty, pretty, I mean, right now, I mean, we're pretty uh, amazed by the results, by what it is giving us, how we're, we, we, we build like our list like crazy with that. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's, that, that, that's just, a, just the beginning. <laughs> that's awesome. And Phil, I think it's a really good point because you see a lot of people on Facebook, whether they're selling t-shirts or something else like that, driving people directly to it, but you're capturing the lead in the front. So like, um, I'm not sure how much you make per email, but we have a lot of users where they'll make like four to twelve dollars uh, in email over the course of a year, just continuing to drip different promotions and different yeah. different offers on them. So, like you yeah. said, like the importance of building your list. If you're able to break even, or even if you lose a little bit, like uh, if you're able to make more money from them in the future you know, it pays off because you built that huge community. In that Absolutely. List. Absolutely. And there's nothing faster than, than using this method to uh, build email lists. You know, we, we build, let's say in six months, uh, uh, three times much more than it took us in one year to build in cold traffic. Wow. Let's say, let, let's put that like that, you know? <laughs> and is, and like, if you, you have these pages as well, like Facebook page, or I've seen people with Instagram as well, like Instagram just changed their algorithm where you're not showing your content to every single subscriber. It's filtered now. Yeah. And so like the email list, you have control, like way more control than these other platforms. So if you can move more people over to email, like that, that's the goal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's very important to focus, to still focus on email. You know, uh, Facebook came with chatbots and all this kind of stuff. Now you can message directly. You can broadcast people through chatbot. But I mean, at the end, I mean, the data stays in Facebook. You don't have control of that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's very important that even if you're doing all this kind of stuff, you need to keep this data in, in your own database. You know, you cannot just, leave it there and think that, uh, I mean, they're, they're leasing you this data. It's not yours, you know? So by getting the email, it's becoming your data. For sure. All right. Well, Phil, I think like just the last thing I'd love to like ask you about, like, obviously you've been doing this for a while, I think maybe a year now. Um, and you know, like, I'm sure when you started it, like you weren't having as much success as you are now, like before this call, we talked about, you guys have some kind of like, you know, you're always going to have technical challenges of like tracking and, 
you know, getting the email set up or whatever. So what's your advice to someone starting out? Like, uh, what's the mindset that they should have? And, um, you know, if they're not seeing results like right away, like what would you tell them? I mean, uh, first of all, I think it all comes with, um, with what they, what they're looking for, you know? So, I mean, depending on the niche and what they're doing. So I used to do lead generation, let's say for insurance company. I mean, our goals and KPIs were, were totally different than what now I'm doing, you know? So, uh, they really need the, first of all, they need to build a list. That's, that's for sure. Whatever they're going to start doing, they need to, to build a list right from now. They need to allocate a budget. If it's $5 a day, it's five dollars a day, but they need to allocate that there. Then once they have that in, in, in their mindset, they need to find the proper, um, let's say, the proper angle to catch their leads. So uh, it is possible that their first quiz don't work uh, like uh, it's it's supposed to. So they just need to iterate that and again find new angles until they find the sweet spot for them. You know. So um, and then the 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 other thing is to get the the right, let's say, perceived value to what you're offering to their people. If it's engagement or, or fun, be sure that they have this type of fun at the end, you know? Or if there's an offer attached to, be sure that this the, the offer that they really love and like to, to have. So this is very, very important there. And then after that, once you get all this, I mean, it's all about the metrics, uh, the math that is behind, how you can grow that faster and uh, recoup, I mean, the, the, the money that you're investing or monetize it. Uh, as much as possible. There's multiple way of monetizing an email list uh, with different people. I got like, um, I got a joint venture, uh, people asking me for joint venture just to get the leads that I was gathering from the quizzes. So I could have monetized that uh, on the side, you know, while building my stuff, you know. So there's so many opportunities that you can do once you have the email in your end. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's unlimited, you know. So uh, be sure to uh, know what you're aiming for, be sure to have the right value there. And then after that, it's time to monetize. Awesome. All right. Well, Phil, like I really appreciate it. anything else you want to add. No, that's great. I mean, <laughs> I love lead quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> well, awesome. I really appreciate you sharing and like opening it up. Uh, I know like, uh, it takes an abundant mindset to know that you like, the more you share, you're going to learn from other people as well. So Thank That's you so true. much, Phil. I know our community is going to love this. Great. Amazing. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Awesome. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Ciao.